attacked and when we can see it so that we get an understanding of how these vulnerabilities and issues and attacks uh, propagate within our network and when we start to have visibility into them. Yeah. Because the clock didn't start when we had visibility. The clock started when that red team guy pressed the button and the exploit started. Yeah, That's when the clock should have started. But our clock hasn't started <laughs> quite yet, right? <laughs> and why, right? And then, and then lastly, what were the lessons learned to improve protection? And do we have control within the SOC to do that? Or do I need to get your approval to get the network team or the IT operations team or whoever to spend a little bit more on bandwidth or spend a little bit more on uh, uh, cycles on their uh, 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 workloads or CPU cycles, whatever. Like some, at to some point, there's going to be a financial discussion to this. But those three points, I think, are critical in order to have the SOC and incident response team get anything out of this other than stop what you are doing, now fix these vulnerabilities. I, I think that that's a very, very good way to sum it up because I, I think that I, I think the crux of the issue is still very much that we're not having joint collaborations between the teams that are assigned to attack organizations and the teams who at the end of the day either defend organizations or have to remediate any of the vulnerabilities that 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 come out of you know said attack right I, oh by the way you don't have to remediate something that you stopped ahead of time right i mean if we if we look at like the 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 things that come out of you know like if we wanted to kind of get back to your point on um you know, in terms of, of threes, right? Um, sort of here with blue, right? I mean, they're they're business informed, right? The blue team has the best view of the business, hands down, day mm -hmm. in and day out, right? Um, and and yeah. this is probably if you if anybody was looking for something to clip or something to to write down or document, I think that that's what's going to be summarized right here in this little chart that I'm going to type up right now, right? Right. You Actually, I think you need to post this entire drawing. Uh, I could probably put this one in Discord as well. Yeah. Right. So the blue team is business informed, right? The blue team, they understand the architecture of an organization, right? They know and configurations and, and configurations. 100%. They are the best ones to completely understand the architecture, the system stack, everything else. They are also the best ones to be able to talk about the detection capabilities inside of an organization. Mm -hmm. The red team, they are the best ones to talk about the threat. They know the threat. They know they should know all the threats that are out there, right? They have that red mindset, right? They have that attacker mindset. They know how to think like a hacker. What are the ways that hackers attack organizations, right? They and because of that, and I go back and I've harped on this before, because of that that hacker mindset because they come from a pen testing background and pen testing is rooted in being able to simulate hackers, they have that hacker emulation capability, right? And so when you pull those together, right, it creates the best way for to measure the defenses of the threat and the detection capabilities. Right, so you're pulling the threats and you're pulling the detection capabilities together and being able to measure them simultaneously in an organization. Right, you now get context, and I can't underscore how important context is in red team engagements and pen testing engagements that most pen testers never get. So like, define that a little bit right. better. Oh, fantastic. You hack a box, you get root on a box, and you're so pumped that you got root on a box. You take it to the IT team, you take it to the web app team, maybe it's a web app that you got root on, and they're like, that box has been wiped, there's nothing on it, it's using a default password for a Dell you know, remote access system. 
and it has no other information on it. You can't use that password anywhere else in the organization. It's not attached to the domain. You can't get the you can't get any hashes off that box. It's literally a standalone computer that has in other zero words, value. There's no island hopping. There's no you, you island hopping. You can't jump from that one and elevate privileges. You can't jump from that box to another box. It is literally right. it literally has zero value in an organization. Most pen testers who are hearing me probably don't understand that there are actually boxes in an organization that it doesn't matter if you exploit if they hold no value if you can't use them for lateral movement it doesn't do you any good to pop them and so that context you gain context in a purple teaming world that you don't have in most red team engagement yeah and the red team could actually do themselves a disservice to go to the leadership and say, we pop this box. <sighs> oh yeah. We're all that. Yeah. And then the executives, you know, a week later find out that that box was totally irrelevant and couldn't be exploited. Nothing else could happen. The and red th team actually just did themselves a disservice by not thinking this way. And they embarrass themselves because they yeah. think they're hot stuff when in fact, there's nothing. Yeah. There. And that leads me to what I think is probably the most important, the most important part of purple teaming. Business impact. impact. Only place in the organization where you're going to be able to run a program and have one of the largest business impacts that exist out there. Because this ties to risk, this ties to finance, this ties to your probability of getting attacked, exploited, and, you know, being in the news. Absolutely. Right there. 100%. 100%. For up to the minute cybersecurity news, make sure you follow and subscribe to the Cyber and Security channel on Twitch and YouTube. Also, make sure you turn on those notifications so that you know when we go live.